it probably fully resonate with the hermit in the shadow. And as you can imagine, some of those qualities and characteristics are being afraid of the outside world, becomes very reclusive, can be very cynical and off-warding to people with their behavior. They judge others and are very distrustful. I can think of a woman where I grew up that she lived in the woods by herself and we would refer to her as kids, but we knew she was out there, but we never saw her. So she would be a hermit. So the hermit in the shadow really has a distrust for humans. And in the end, their house becomes their jail. And they may really have trouble leaving the house. But at the same time, they don't take care of the house. So the house becomes in a state of disarray. And they also don't take care of themselves. Very disheveled, not dealing with hygiene or self-care. And they will deny others the opportunity to help them. Again, ensuring that they remain isolated and alone. And they can come to feel alone because the hermit really relies on nature for fueling. I want to include some colors that we find in nature and in the woods. The hermit also relates very much to the animal kingdom. I can see that my tendency is to gravitate towards brighter colors, but I'm realizing that the hermit is really going to be more attracted to the cooler, darker colors because I think they represent the quiet and the solitude more than the bright colors. So because that Herman in the shadow represents kind of decay and decline and not taking care of, I'm gonna use this spider web template and just come in here and hopefully this will pick up and give just some kind of sense of, you know, how spider webs can indicate worn and torn and not inhabited or not attended to. And then I'll add, I'm thinking of adding some kind of leaves because I do think that that whole idea of nature is very significant for the hermit. And knowing that when the hermit goes into hermitage, that's where the hermit really finds creativity, really connects to a higher source, really revives and replenishes. And because the hermit is so connected to nature and the animal kingdom and the insect kingdom, <laughs> I'm using this kind of spider web template. And I also think the spider web can kind of indicate decay and you know how it gets worn and torn and creepy looking, kind of very dusty. Now I want to get a little bit of brightness in here. So, I'm again going to use stencils because that's what I'm more comfortable with. give it some kind of background color. So the hermit making art, I really think it's the art that is the lantern that the hermit brings into the world. And it's by shining that light that the hermit brings hope and the light to others, to those that have gone astray, have veered from the path or are lost along the way. 
And I know Carolyn Mace refers to the hermit as part of the wisdom family. So it's in the part of being hermited that the hermit accesses the wisdom. Only by going inside can the hermit arrive at a deep level of knowledge. So the whole idea for me of the hermit really has to do with the wisdom and the introspection. I think of that movie, Where the Crawdads Sing. That, that's a good example of hermit in the light because it was the Marsh girl that brought her publications of the beautiful drawings that she had done because she accessed her creativity in her hermitage and then published her books of her natural world with the plants and the bugs and the seashells, that sort of thing. So I'm just wanting this light to stand out a little bit more. So I'm subduing a little bit more of the contrast that distracted from that light. And in fact, I think I'll come in over here, just tone that down. And I think that way the light stands out a little bit more. And I love this quote from Stacy Couch. She says, every hermit has a hermitage. The hermit archetype won't complain about having to get away. He will simply cloister himself into a corner of the room, the building, or the house or the property because it's a priority. He has no choice. It is who he is. So seeking the silence to be able to go inside, access creativity, wisdom, insight, and in that solace, the hermit does not feel alone. And when that hermit emerges, brings the light. And again, recognizing that aloneness is simply could be conceived of or spelled as all oneness, the hermit, all oneness, bringing the light of hope and comfort to humanity.